thank you for joining us today. I'm Miss Yvette, also known as Layla's Mom. Today we're going to continue our series on simple machines. Today's discussion is going to be about inclined planes and the wedge. All right, so let's talk about both. An inclined plane is a slanting surface connecting a lower level to a higher level. As you can see here, the bottom of the inclined plane is on the ground and then it goes up and it's connected to a higher level. So instead of the robot having to step up or for it to be stairs to go up, the robot is able to just walk up the inclined plane and as you can see in this diagram, put the boxes down on the higher level. Okay, now let's talk about the wedge. The wedge is an object with at least one slanting side ending in a sharp edge which cuts materials apart. So if you look over here, we're just going to pretend like this is a whole piece and then the wedge is put in right here and then it's hit with the mallet and then because the slant right here of the wedge, it separates these two pieces. Okay. Terms to know and understand. Mechanical advantage. The mechanical advantage gained by the use of a mechanism and transmitting force. Height. The height is the distance from bottom to top. Length. The longer or longest dimension of an object. Force. Strength or energy exerted. Hypotenuse. The side of the right angle triangle that is opposite the right side. Okay? So this would be your right angle on your triangle. So this would be opposite of your right side, okay? And then slope to take a slanting direction. Over here, these are some examples. This is your incline plane, again. This would be the bottom point, and then this will be the top. And as you can see, it creates a right angle opposite of the actual incline plane you have your resistance coming down, and your resistance could be gravity. And then you have your force, or you see the little man right here? That's what he's doing to actually push this object up. Um, there is another component that we will factor in, but we're not going to talk about it right now because we're just pretty much doing a little introduction to the simple machines. But we will also eventually start talking about friction because that will also be an added resistance for this man pushing this little ball up. But, you know, that's something we'll talk about at a later time. And then when we talk about the wedge, the wedge is showing the output forces are on the side. That's what's actually pushing this apart. And then our input force is coming from the top. And that's the force that's pushing down on the wedge. Alright, so now let's talk about our mechanical advantage and how to figure it out for both um, the wedge and the inclined plane. Okay, if we look over here at our wedge first, it asks you what is the mechanical advantage of the wedge with the width of 5 centimeters and the length of 15 centimeters. If we look at our equation, we're going to see that the mechanical advantage is going to equal length over width. So if we substitute in the information that we know, we know it's going to be 15 centimeters over 5 centimeters, which is going to equal a mechanical advantage of 3. Then over here with mechanical advantage, we're going to look for the mechanical advantage of our inclined plane. And if we look over here, we're going to also see MA equals slope, length, or the hypotenuse, divided by height. So we're going to do the same thing over here. We're just going to plug everything in. And we see our length of the slope is 20 feet and remember um, that's opposite our right angle so our length or our hypotenuse and then we're going to look at our height and our height is going to be the actual distance from the top to the actual bottom of the slope and we see that's 5 feet so we're going to put 20 feet over 5 feet and then we get a mechanical advantage of 4 Alright, so let's look at some examples of different type of incline plane and wedges that we use in everyday life and then a few that we use with our mechanical bills. Um, right here we see our skateboard ramp. 
that's a pretty nice inclined plane. So our rider, he comes in right here off the ground, and then the ramp goes up, and then it adds additional height. And we can always find out what our mechanical advantage is by doing our um, equation that we just went over. Over here, we have a wedge or an axe. So that would be an example of a wedge. And we're showing how the axe is actually able to split a board. Over here, we have a slide. That would be an inclined plane because the top of our slide is elevated right here, and then the bottom of our slide is actually on a lower surface. When we come down over here to our robotic mechanical bills, we see how we can use an inclined plane to actually move this object up a raised slanted surface. And then we also see that they're using some other systems that we've gone over earlier, which would be a pulley, to get this object to come up. So you can see that you can actually combine your simple machines to perform tasks also. Over here we have the same thing. If you look, you see our gears are actually connected to a elevated surface. They're not um, perfectly horizontal. They're actually slanted to help in, um, this would be like a pinball machine. So if we drop the pinball here, it's going to allow it to go down. Then you drop it here. Depending on the speed or whatever they're trying to get it to do, Hopefully it will um, continue through the surface also. And then over here when we look at this robot, we actually see an incline plane here, or it could be a wedge. This is a mechanical bill also. I'm not sure what the operation would be of this robot, but it could be a wedge. You may want to wedge it into a surface, or it could be an incline plane where we want something to actually roll up and go up the incline plane. or it could be opposite. We may want to put a ball here and have it to roll down into like a basket or something that's waiting at the bottom. All right, now we've reached that fun time. It's challenge time. Okay, before we get started on our challenge, I wanna always remind you, simple machines do not enable you to do less work. Rather, they enable you to use less force. Always remember that. All right, for today's challenge, you're going to find simple machine, inclined planes, and wedges around your home or community. And I want you to try to figure out the mechanical advantage of that item. Okay, so what you're going to do, you're going to take a picture, and then you're going to write about what the mechanical advantage is and how it's beneficial and all the different things that we do in life. Now, before you post this to social media, I want you to make sure you get your parents' permission because it's always important for them to understand what you're posting on social media sites. You can post your findings on our two sites. We're located on Twitter, so you can tweet it to Layla's League or you can hashtag Layla's League. Just hashtag Layla's League. We also can be found at Facebook. And if you go to this site right here, this is our Facebook URL, or you can also just put us in the find and type in Layla's League LLC. Layla League would like to thank you for your participation today, and we hope you learned something fun about incline plane and wedges. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact me at yvette at laylasleague.com, and I'll make sure to do everything I can to get you those answers. You can also send me a message at Twitter, just hashtag Layla's League, and I'll make sure to get back with you. And you can also join our Facebook page and ask your question there also. Thank you, have fun, enjoy the day, and spread what you learned about simple machines. Bye-bye.